I'm Dr. Sheldon Yesenow, and I'm the owner of Orinoke Animal Hospital, and I have been involved with the National Disaster Medical System, and I was at Katrina for three weeks. Animals had been neglected and ignored because people were told at that time to leave their pets on the front steps of their houses, just tie them up and leave them there with some food and water, and they'll be okay. Well, you'll be back in a day or so, and they'll be fine. But the problem was, those people weren't back in a day or so, some of them didn't come back at all, and there were thousands and thousands of dogs and cats that had to be rescued by the rescue groups. I was bent and determined that I was going to do whatever I could to try to change this situation so that it would hopefully never happen again. Christopher Shays came to my assistance, and I contacted him, and he was graciously interested in helping me out. Chris had introduced a law, a bill, in the House of Representatives called the Pets Act, and that bill was passed. I don't know the numbers, but I know that it was close to unanimous. And after that happened, things started to change because now the whole, the whole culture of what do you do in a disaster with your pets is no longer, no longer do people tell them, put them on the front porch with a chain, leave some food and water, you'll be back in a couple days. Now communities must, they must have included in their, in their emergency response plan. They must include what to do with animals so because people are allowed to and must be allowed to evacuate with their pets.